there is always a silver lining in life. The flights are delayed, which means it's already 5 p.m., which means we're taking a speedboat to Basilan. Feeling very blessed this morning, what a positive way to wake up. I'm in Barangay East in Tagum City and if you type in Saladista to Google Maps, it'll lead you to this. They have a noodle cafe. Uh, you may remember during the pandemic years back, I met somebody named Diane and her family and they grew lettuce just like this. and they use that lettuce to make salad rolls. Those salad rolls became something that I really liked and a lot of people around really liked. So it evolved into a little business. And now that business continues to develop in a positive way to the point where they have this cool little cafe where you can come and order delicious salad products, healthy salad products. And I just wanna support it because it's awesome and it's a local business and it's good for you. Check it out. even have a little fish tank that's like a rainbow. So I'm gonna go inside with my friends now and we're gonna eat some good food and we're gonna hang out. Good vibes. Hello friends. Hello. Hello. And she owns Burns Hello Hello, which is really good too. Yes, thank you so cool. She's the coolest. Are you guys gonna be selling this stuff here? Yes. Yeah? Oh cool, this is new. I like it. Non-alcoholic, really good local kind of funky drinks, so go for it, man. Wow. Who's that for? <laughs> oh, what's that one, mojito? Yeah. Is it, oh, I can take it? Yeah. Oh, okay, sorry. Sorry, I didn't know that was for me or not. Okay, great. Oh, that's good, it's approved. Let's see what we got them, bud. Chuck, Chuck. Chuck, Chuck Norris. <laughs> it's totally, it's totally normal in the Philippines to give a famous name to somebody when you meet them, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very, very good. Like, double, double. Oh, exacto. <laughs> Whoever you are, you are upside. I love your art on the wall. My Lasuji bird, right there. Salad rolls and sauce are so good. In case you guys are wondering, this road that leads to it is the one to New City Hall. Uh, really awesome, healthy, good vibes, and they're expanding their menu. I just bought a beetroot detox juice. I think there's like carrots and ginger, all sorts of good stuff in this. They have a whole bunch, they even have smoothies. Uh, yeah, nice place. I'll be going there often, especially passing through Tagum. I used to always get saladista for takeout. Now I have somewhere I can just sit and chill and work as well. Uh, Heading over now to another person's place, married engineer and his wife Kath have almost finished the food park.
Well, the word Lambo means progress, and you guys have certainly progressed in creating your magical food park. <laughs> uh, I just dropped off some banding for them because they're gonna, as you can see, well, this is artificial grass. They're gonna have a little photo shoot at Bandix and artificial yeah. grass. So, uh, but this is basically gonna open May 8th yeah. soon. So expect to see me come here in the near future as well uh, when I'm back from my trip because this is really, really beautiful. I want to show you upstairs because it's awesome. How many, Brad, how many stalls? Uh, upstairs, 10. 10 stalls upstairs, how many downstairs? 14. 14, and a bar? Yeah. Okay. 10 stalls upstairs, 14 stalls downstairs. We have all sorts of food from all over Tagum and Davao. And a little bar you can hang out and have a drink, have some food, tambay. They're laying down on the bannocks right now, married engineer's wife. Wow. <laughs> Hey, they look okay. That's one of the banik from Tawi Tawi and one from uh, Samar in Basai. We gotta, you gotta collapse that one more. Good vibes. Good vibes. So yeah, uh, Lava Food Park's opening soon. Really proud of my friends. Support your friends. Share positive vibes with your friends. Run downstairs to laugh at your friends on the banics. <laughs> Oh, I like that one. Yeah, we're gonna have picnic afternoons here. Picnic so afternoons. can order food and have a picnic here at the food park. You heard it from Tita Ka. Okay, before I head out, carry on towards Davao, people at the beauty parlor across the street were yelling at me, so I'm going in. Here we go to the nail garage. Oh, nice. All right. Hi. Hello, hello, nail garage. For my friends. Bye. <laughs> okay, fun fact. I actually bite my fingernails. I have for many years. I have a bad habit. So maybe someday I'll go to Nail Garage, get my nails done so I won't bite them anymore. Bye-bye uh, Lambo. Bye-bye Tagum. Let's head down the road towards Davo City. in the Tagum flyover. Gavi, I remember when this didn't even exist. Construction hadn't even started. The first time I came to Tagum City, 2015, and since then, it's just a sensual, a sensual, a sensual. Okay, first things first, I dropped off my car because I'm taking an early morning flight. Hello, what's <laughs> up? And uh, that means, yeah, it's being looked after. A couple things. Number one, I think that's a multi cab, that's what you call it. Uh, I used to live in Manila in 2016 and had to do a lot of public commuting. I mean, it's not really a glorious thing a lot of the time in the Philippines. It can be very frustrating, but uh, saying that, did you notice how I handed my money forward? I said, buy ad. Um, I think that's one of the coolest things in the Philippines, how you hand your money to people, trust them, they hand it forward, and you trust you and you get your change back from Korea. Uh, just like a positive thing that always reminds me of the beauty of people here, how people will look after each other and support each other. So, next thing too, oh, getting yelled at. Uh, okay, I'm losing my train of thought. 
there's something else I wanted to say. Oh, if you come to the Philippines and you're a traveler, I 100% suggest you just try all types of public transportation because, again, it can be very, very difficult. But at the same time, if you're just here as a traveler and want to experience things, it can be super, super unique and fun and just like, a, I don't know, a little bit of an adventure. So, anyways, go to the mall, get some things. Hello. See you in a bit. Hello, what's that? Hi. When half one? Hey. Hey. Yeah, of course, sure. totally. <laughs> You didn't want to see me walking in the mall, trust me. I get lost in malls. Uh, it's really, really hard to find your way around, even with Google Maps. Much further on the street. It's kind of hard to spot the little signs in the front. If you're not local, it can be hard to commute. You have to give it a stare. dream every time I'm in Yoko. So let's go hotels and I'm staying there tonight literally because I knew Yofros was over here in this compound and I was thinking about it. I'm gonna chill, go to sleep early and then wake up and head to the airport. So have a good night. See you tomorrow. Buenas tardes, Samwonga. I had a couple flight delays. It's already 4 p.m., but I have arrived. I absolutely love this airport. Just the look of it when you're landing. Okay, I'll catch up with you in a bit. This is my my pare. My friend. My friend, my pare. Alejandro. <laughs> Alejandro. <laughs> Just call me Alejandro. He going <laughs> Just call me Alejandro. He's Chavacado. We're here at the port in Zamboanga. I switched headbands because I gave Alejandro one of my headbands. It's now his anting anting. So nobody nobody can mess with him. That's that's gonna protect him. It's like a protection amulet. So. It's a lana, witch oil. He's, gonna, he's not gonna turn into an ass song, I promise you. Uh, okay, silver lining to having delayed flights is we get to take a speedboat to Basilan. So the sun is going down, we just drove uh, down the bay. I'm here, sea tourism is here. She's always shy, Hazel. Just joking. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we're going over to Basilan, so I'll talk to you more when we get there, but let's hop on the speedboat and have a good time. Paseo del Mar, we're leaving the Zamboanga port, we're going to Basilan at night. This is really cool. 
I still never will get tired of coming down here to the boulevard in Isabella, looking at all the boats. It's like Edsa out there, boats going back and forth. It's a Thursday morning, meaning people got to go to work, right? So they come to and from. Uh, but speaking of which, I just saw a group two from Makati, the green boat over there. They came to go island hopping. They're going to Lampanigan in the distance, which you would have seen in old videos. I'm here for Sakayan Festival. I'll see you in the next video when we do some things and have a good time. In the meantime, the sun is out, it's good weather, I'm hot, I gotta wake up. Welcome back. Yes? This guy's the pogiest. Ah. <laughs> Come in. Come on. 